Hey, this is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a, uh, the program to uh, make privacy for anyone anywhere. It's a live DVD or a live USB flash drive. You just plug it into your computer or pop it into the disk drive, boot the computer up, and you will be booted up into an operating system that is not installed on the actual hard drive. And you can do all sorts of stuff and uh, surf the internet anonymously. Uh, it's great for advertisers, governments, hackers, and cyber crimes that have the ability to learn your personal information. They can track your location through the web or through clues to leave behind when you use unsecure computers. Uh, by using the software, it makes your computer secure. And it's uh, called Tails, and they're, they're on uh, 0 0.13 <coughs> is their version. And uh, the latest uh, release was on September 17th of 2012. Uh, Tails is a program that can help you use the internet anonymously as well as completely under the under your tracks when you use public computers. Beware, we are about to get into some serious pro tactics here. So uh, Tails understands the uh, live system. It doesn't install on your computer. Instead, you'll need to mount it onto a DVD or a USB flash drive that's 2 gig or larger. That's because the Tails is designed to leave no trace on any computer you're using. It forces any and all internet connections made by that computer through the Tor network, an anonymous network designed by the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory. Uh, Tails also includes several state-of-the-art uh, crypto cryptographic, cryptographic tools to make sure that any data sent and received is protected by end-to-end -end encryption. Basically, you're not the only only be anonymous, but attackers will be severely limited to their ability to eavesdrop on your connect on your communication. Uh, finally, because Tails is essentially a computer mobile operating system, no trace will be left on the computer after you're done. The computer forgets everything you've done, and even that you've uh, used uh, Tails, like I said, because you booted it in to it's a live boot, so it just boots up off the disk. I highly recommend you uh, reading the comprehensive documentation support of the Tails website. That way you'll know how to use Tails and what its limitations are. Uh, and it's a free program. <coughs> Pardon me. All I got to do is click on this download uh, button here. I'll put a link to the, your website uh, in the description. And once you click on the download, it'll tell you the steps here. There are six steps. I'll uh, just start off with, if you're a first-time user, you're going to want to read the little description here. Then when you're ready to download the ISO image, there's a direct download or a BitTorrent download. So you can go ahead and click on the links uh, to read the ISO here uh, is what I clicked and downloaded. If you click on the torrent one, obviously you know what that'll do. Open up your torrent program, you'll download through that. And also if you do the cryptographic signature, uh, it's encrypted, so you click on that one, it'll download to your computer. Uh, I clicked it and downloaded it, and then it uh, looks like this, which is downloading here, and it says it's got 7 hours and 15 minutes to complete downloading. Um, the internet's running kind of slow. So once it's downloaded, you want to verify the ISO uh, through here. If you read the direction, it tells you what to do. <coughs> Pardon me. Then next, you want to burn. Step four, you want to burn the DVD or install it onto a USB stick. Uh, the first step, so I'll show you how to do it to a DVD. Obviously, you need like an ISO burner. Uh, it does. There is one built into Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, if you're wondering, so you don't have to download any other software to do it. And if you want to download to your USB stick. Here are the steps to doing that. And then after that, uh, hit stay tuned. And uh, very important to keep your, your version up to date. Otherwise, your system will be vulnerable to numerous security holes. So you want to read all of that. Sign up to their uh, newsletter or to their RSS or to the Atom feed. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and do start tails. Go ahead and start using it. They tell you. They tell you how to start using it. Here are the next steps. If you have any problems, there's a report page here to report to. Uh, if you want to know about that, kind of how to boot your computer from a USB uh, bootable USB device, there's a link there how to do that. Uh, so very helpful information there. Uh, after you are done, done downloading and getting all that done, there is uh, other links on here. It also comes in different languages. Uh, you want to read, like, here's the documentation of uh, what it all has in here. Lots of good information, uh, obviously, on this website. So it's a good place to uh, start off with here and learn some new stuff, especially if you're just learning now about how to encrypt files and that sort of stuff. Because, obviously, I don't know if you know this, but when you send an email, 
uh, anything that's in that email, anybody can grab at any time as it's being sent over the internet. So you don't want to put any uh, personal or valuable information on it, like your social security number or your credit card information or your driver's license information or even your address, your phone number, because you never know who may grab it along the way. Um, so by using this uh, live system, you can send your emails to your friends and family and they will be able to get the information without anybody else grabbing it along the way and be able to read your message. So be very private. <coughs> Pardon me. So it will keep you safe and uh, keep all of your data safe and it will be very hard for a hacker or the government or whatever you want, or whoever you're trying to prevent from seeing this. They won't be able to see it because it's uh, it's got a heavy encryption on it, which is very good. So that's pretty much what this live disk does. And it does other stuff too besides just email. It does instant messaging like I said earlier. So it's a very good program. Uh, I recommend start using it. It's not very hard to do. If you just follow those steps, it's very easy to um, install it onto a flash drive or onto a DVD. And start using it, play around with it, and see what you think. Uh, drop a comment down below the video here and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, post any uh, comments or thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you'd like. And I have more videos to come, so keep coming back. Have a great day.